Recently, we've been subjected to seeing a whole slew of Boris Johnson interviews where he tries to expunge his past behaviour and attempt to paint his record as if it were a success. Here he is in conversation with Stig Abel on talk radio, basically admitting that the country feels Brexit has not been the success he promised, but it's too late. That bridge has been burned. But the model of Britishness that you talk about, the success of Brexit that you talk about in the book, is not a view shared now by the majority of your fellow citizens. Most people think Brexit has not been done properly. Well, Most people, wait till I finish, well, uh, thinks that it has not worked, that it can't work. If there was a referendum tomorrow morning, Leave would lose and would lose soundly. Because the model of Britishness... I should, I should, go on. But the model of Britishness you're talking about has not worked. You have not convinced your fellow citizens. And do you know what they think, Boris Johnson? They think you didn't know how it was going to work. And so it became that you couldn't control it after it had happened. That could, well, that's complete nonsense. So first of all, your first assertion there, which is total nonsense, is that uh, if there were a referendum tomorrow, then leave would inevitably lose or people would vote to rejoin. That's but what you're... I'm not saying, no, no, I'm not saying, saying to rejoin. The last poll I've seen on this, Remain would win 55-31. So you think that people would vote to re rejoin? I think if you had the vote again, it would be very, very different. So if you say, but so with the hypothesis is your hypothesis is that now having if you have your vote, if you had your no, the question is if you had your vote again, it's not to, to necessarily rejoin. But let's say rejoin. Well, well, you, well, it's a hypothetical you, poll, isn't it? Watch as he dodges answering the actual question to turn it around about re-entering the EU in order so that he doesn't have to admit his part in the whole debacle. OK, but, but listen, on, on your, seriously, on your, on, your, on your point about um, another referendum. Yeah. Let's, talk, let's put it this way. Another referendum, Fine. right? Now, the, and what the, the, the choice for the British people is, given that we're now out, the choice is between going back in or staying where we are. And right? you think you can, you think you can convince people? So, so you've got to imagine, Stig, you've got to imagine that you, as a proud, passionate Remainer, can convince the British people to go back into the European Union and hand over 20 billion quid a year, much of it to be spent by Brussels in the EU, all of it to be controlled uh, by Brussels. You've got to imagine that if the, the price that what they get in exchange is giving up control of their legislation, their regulation again, uh, giving up control of their laws, giving up control of their, of their borders, uh, going back to unrestricted free movement uh, with the EU, and giving up control of their monetary policy, and because those are the rules of rejoining the, of joining the EU, uh, giving up the pound sterling in favour of, of the euro. Now, you've got to, that's the case that you would have to make. So the bridge has been and, burned, as effectively what you're saying. And so, and the, so what, the bridge has so, been burned. Well, I'm suggesting to you that the very first assertion that you made that people would uh, vote to rejoin the EU is, I think, completely mistaken. Click here for Ian Hislop saying that the Brexiteers have run away.